everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to the Worldwide Community Talk Show called Let's Talk About It. I'm your host, Sheree, and today I'm going to be interviewing a gospel recording artist by goes, that goes by the name of Yolanda Freeman. So everybody welcome Yolanda Freeman. Hey, hey how are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you doing? Can you have a seat? Well, first I'd like to thank you for coming on to my show, Let's Talk About It. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So, um, it's pretty cold outside, huh? <laughs> So, um, before we get started, you can tell my viewers a little bit about yourself, um, like where you're from, where you're born and raised, um, if you have any brothers or sisters, children, or if okay. you're married. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, well, I am from Cheryl, South Carolina. Okay. And um, I am married to uh, Kilda Freeman, okay. only child. He's a pastor at Great Fair Plains, Amy Zion Church in McCall, South Carolina. Um, my siblings, I do have a brother and a sister, um, both are deceased. Um, so I'm the only little one. Uh, we're going on, we're making it, um, right. and so, um, that's me. God is good, yes, God is. is good. Yes, is. So how long have you been married? I have been married for about 11 years. 11 years, mm -hmm. oh that is awesome. 11 years. Because, yes. you know, it seems to be in today's world that marriage is hard to maintain, mm -hmm. and um, people are treating it like it's nothing. Absolutely, right. absolutely, wow. absolutely. So congratulations. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay, so um, when did you start singing? Actually, I've been singing since the age of five. Five? Five years old. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. yes. And what have you done since the age of five? Like, have you done any shows when you figured out that you wanted to sing? Well, like actually, churches or? Actually, um, it's been maybe within the last five years that I found myself in this position, um, just okay. coming up singing on my church choirs and different right. community events and stuff like that. I never knew, you know, that I was going to be in this place, you know. So, you know, um, that veil was not removed from my eyes until later, okay. you know. And I'm just so God was just preparing me for ministry for what I'm doing now. Right, so. right. And so, what made you choose gospel? over R&B because yeah. you know nowadays when people have a town they seem to want to you know take the, the quote unquote easy route of singing R&B versus gospel. Well I enjoy all kind of music. Mm -hmm. However I just prefer my passion, my ministry is, is evolving from gospel. Those are my roots, that's where I came from, you know, and knowing that the place that I am is not because I call myself here, but because God has called me to this place. And so um, I think I would be doing him an injustice to um, mm -hmm. be called to this place or um, have my hands set to the plow here in ministry mm -hmm. and I decided to go outside of what he's chosen for me to do. Right, yeah. right. Okay, right, right. So how was it like growing up uh, being a singer, um, do you have your brothers and sisters? Do they have a talent to sing as well? Actually, you know, sometimes you can have a sibling rival. <laughs> Actually, um, my entire family is musically inclined. Okay, both on my mother and my father's side. Right. Oh. So of course, my mom and my dad are both pianists. Pianists at their home churches wow. even now today. My brother just passed. Um, he was a minister of music. I uh, mm -hmm. started here in Chiron. He ended up in Baltimore, and uh, he ended up coming back home before he he passed. But um, all of my family are music inclined. They're either playing or they're singing. Right. <laughs> wow, awesome. And what about your mom and your dad? My mom and dad, they are still um, in ministry. They're still playing for their home churches, still pianos at their home churches even today. Okay. Yeah. And your children, are they musically inclined in any way? Both of my boys can sing, okay. uh, but they are more um, geared towards artistry. My oldest boy, he likes um, basketball. That's where his passion is. Okay. <laughs> so he's into basketball. My right. baby is more into, he loves music. Okay. He can tell you old school, no, new school, but um, he, he loves music, but he's more into desi design and art. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So what type of style of gospel music are you into as far as your, um, what you're singing? Okay. Um, I do contemporary. I do traditional. I do um, just about all. Okay. You know, it's just, um, you know, I do gospel jazz. It's just a, a, a thing of, you know, hearing it mm -hmm. and just being able to go back and and to make it my own. I think right. that's the best 
um, to be able to be creative with hearing a, for instance, uh, Amazing Grace and then being able to, you know, put my own style with it. Right. It's still Amazing Grace, but right. it's Yolanda's version right. of Amazing Grace and to be able to do it in the manner that it was designed as well. So right. I enjoy all facets of it. Okay, cool. So how important do you think gospel is? I think it is um, very, very important, um, especially going back to hymns per se. I remember being at um, my dad's home church especially they did a lot of hymns okay. and uh, you know being a little girl you're like oh my god here's another <laughs> hymn here's another <laughs> hymn <laughs> and you know at the time God was preparing me for yeah. such a time as this but you know I didn't realize that was okay but at the same time those hymns were being deposited in my spirit yeah. you know but just to be able to now, you know, that I'm older and, um, and more mature to be able to look at a hymn and say, you know, there's a meaning, there's a story right. in this hymn, and it, and yeah. it is a meaning, you know, right. and, um, you know, so I, I think it's, it's just very important, you know, based on your motive and how you're able to view it, you mm -hmm. know, based on the place that you're in at that time. Mm -hmm. so basically, you agree, it's very soul-touching. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, it can be challenging, challenging uh, being an artist as well as a mother in a way. Yes. So tell us how do you balance that out? Wow. <laughs> um, wow. I found that um, what I have to do is make time for the important things that are necessary. Mm -hmm. Um that I have to do. I have to actually just say, okay, here I'm gonna call about this amount of time here for this. I'm gonna call about this amount of time, this amount of time here to be able to get everything done that you need to get done in a day. Because right. it's like okay, it's not but twenty four hours in the day. Right. It'd be wonderful if it was thirty or forty eight, but it's only right. twenty four. And right. so I find that you really have to utilize your time right. efficiently in order to be able to effectively, you know, be able to do those things necessary within that day. Okay. Yeah. And are they very supportive? Of you. They are. They are. They are. They are. Absolutely. So you have Absolutely. to do shows, and I'm like, "Mommy, don't go." You know, your, your husband's like, "Well, oh, wait a minute, I need some pork chops too." <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But I think the great thing about that is um, we're a family unit, and you know, my husband, he's in ministry, and so cool. therefore, you know, I have to be there with him, and so he understands. Right. You know, so when I have to go, and he's there, right. to support for me. There are times when you know he may be going this way in ministry, I may be going that way, but at the same time, you know, we are the majority of the time we're there for each other. Sometimes the boys are like, "Oh, okay, we got another engagement," but at the same time, you know, I believe that God is depositing some things within them even now. Right. They may not understand now, but by and by, when it's time for their hand to be at whatever. God has called them to, their roots will already be prepared right, for them. Right. So. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. She's yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Yes. Wow, that's yes. awesome. Yes. So, are there, you have any upcoming projects? Um, yes, I'm actually working on my third project. So that's in the making. Yeah, we're Good still in the process. You. But thank you, thank you so You're much. Welcome. But we're in the process of my third album. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I like for you to take our views into one of your songs. Okay. Um, and you can introduce it. Okay. Um, let's go with um, New Heart. New Heart is my title cut. Okay. And um, New Heart came from a place where um, I just really had to be vulnerable to myself and vulnerable to God and what I mean about that is um, you know a lot of times we wear masks mm -hmm. and you know you have a, a mask that you're going to put on for mom, you have a mask you're going to put on being first lady, you got a mask that you want you know your work people to see etc etc but when you get back home it's time to take the mask off and mm -hmm. be able to see you for who you really are mm -hmm. and so I was having that experience where I was just you know mask off it's time to see Yolanda for who she really is mm -hmm. and when I looked in the mirror and saw her she wasn't a very pretty sight mm -hmm. um, spiritually she was really really messed up Mm -hmm. damaged, full of bondage, you know, full of a whole lot of unforgiveness, mm -hmm. resentment, bitterness, etc, etc. And so, you know, uh, God was just working with me to be able to come and, and to be able to write a song that was going to be real, right. it was going to come from a real place, okay. you know, and it takes a lot of vulnerability to be able to admit mm -hmm. that you are at that place. Right, right. And then the flip side of that is, um, I wanted to do a song um, with my brother. And um, I was like, OK, 
okay, now what, what am I going to do? We're going to be real. You know, we want to come from a place where both of us can really know that this is a true place. And so um, at the time, he was going through a heart condition. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was going through a spiritual heart condition. Okay. So um, the short of the long is God gave me the title, New Heart. New Heart. And uh, yes, New Heart. And New Heart is just, you know, in the beginning of the song, it's really talking about, you know, the position that um, we were in, myself spiritually. Um, him as well. Um, he, he comes in on the second verse, but um, me being on the first verse is just really telling where I am, him telling where he is on the second. And the chorus is saying, you know, God, I want a heart that is forgiven. I want a heart that is targeted for you. You know, I want a heart that holds no residue. Mm -hmm. I want a heart that just really longs for you so that I could be a better person. Mm -hmm. You know, I okay. can be strengthened. Okay. Yes. All right. So here is a new heart. Oh, wow. 
That was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, you do have a nice voice. And you heard it here. <laughs> oh, let's talk about it. I'm, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> okay, so um, there's also another song that you sent me. You can also let them know a little bit about that song as okay. well. All right, okay. Another cut is uh, Magnify the Lord. And Magnify the Lord is more of a praise, a worship song. It's trying to encourage people. And I like people. that song too. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and what it does, it's just um, motivated at getting everybody encouraged to be able to bless and lift up God. And then at the at the, at the very end, though, just kind of taking it back to church. Yeah. Um, but it's still, you know, about magnify, praise, and exalt and lifting up God. Right, mm -hmm. right. All right, well, here is Magnify the Lord. Check it out. Come on, put your hands together. Give God praise. Magnify, magnify the Lord. Lift up holy your soul and blessed you. Um, how long does it take for you to write out a song? Hmm. It can take a day. Mm -hmm. It can take a month. Mm -hmm. It can take six months. It just really depends. Um, a lot of times for me, um, it just comes in, 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 in spurs, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really no designated amount of time. Okay. Um, it, it just kind of depends on how God is giving it to you. Okay. Yeah. Now, is your album? Um, how many albums do you have? I have two. Two albums. Two albums. Okay. So, do you base your songs off of just life, personal experiences only, or do you kind of branch out? Um, a little bit of both. Okay. Um, you'll find on on my new heart, uh, my my latest album, that um, a lot of it is coming from experiences. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is um, coming definitely directly from the word, but at the same time, um, you'll find different genres of music on this um, particular album, but uh, it, it just kind of depends. Right. Yeah. And your opinion, do you think it's better for um, individuals or you think that your fans can relate more if something was more personal versus just life in general? Do you find that there's a difference in them? I think per se with New Heart um, because New Heart was coming from a passionate place. It was a very sensitive place. And um, I have gotten more reviews um, on that song, uh, even when it was a single. But 
definitely a lot of reviews on that one because a lot of people say it really hit home for them. Right. You know, and mm -hmm. I, I'm just assuming it was because, you know, maybe they, like myself, you know, have found themselves at that place. Mm -hmm. You know, at some point in their life where, you know, it was like, God, you know, I'm nasty, I'm ugly, I'm here. But thank God for your saving grace because, mm -hmm. you know, I can get up and I can, you know, I don't have to stay down mm -hmm. because your mercy is new every day. Amen. Yes. Amen. God mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. Girl, <laughs> yes. that is good. Wow. Yes. Okay. So um, we're gonna go into another one of the songs okay. um, that you emailed me as well, and you can let me know a little bit about that one. Okay. As well. All right. Um, the uh, the final song is "Bless You, Lord," and um, also "Bless You, Lord" is a song also getting targeted at praise and worship. It's about, you know, getting encouraged, getting motivated to just give God your praise. You know, a lot of times we come to church and sometimes we come and we're downhearted or we're tired or whatever, you know, our burdens for the week. But Bless You Lord is one of those songs that is encouraging you to, to just lay aside every way. You know, let's just get our mind set on God and let's right. just bless and exalt Him. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> let's exalt Him. That's the name, correct? Absolutely. Right. So mm -hmm. here's a snippet of Take you <laughs> bless you, Lord. Take a look. I will bless you, Lord. I will bless you at all. calling to get the charge to say okay this is where you're supposed to Amen. be and with that it has had its challenges you know God Amen. never promised that everything was going to be easy right. but he said that he'll be with us through Amen. it all and Girl, so put my Bible put my Bible, <laughs> my Bible. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, but he, you know, and just to be able to hold on to that, to Amen. know you know because during those trials you know you're going to ask yourself okay God am I Am I in the right place? Am 
high place. But when you know that you know that you know that you know mm -hmm. that God has called you to that place, right. then when those times of uncertainty that the enemy is going to bring to you, right. you can go back to, okay, God, I know I'm in the right place. I am maybe having these challenges or these challenges, but I know all is going to work out for the good right. because you have called me to this place. Yes. Amen. <laughs> that and that's so true because everybody thinks that just because they have a certain talent for something mm -hmm. that that means that they actually supposed to be doing that and that's not so. Absolutely. You know, we have many gifts, but we have to find out what God called us for yes. us to do. Absolutely. And say what well, what is our work? That's right. You know, what's our mission? Absolutely. Wow, that's Absolutely. awesome. That's awesome. Yes. So, would you like to um, give out any type of information where you can be located at Reach? I mean, any website information? How you can be contact? Yes, sure. Um, you definitely can contact me through my website, which is YolandaFreeman.com. I'm also on YouTube. You can subscribe to my uh, channel there. I'm also on Twitter, which is uh, Yolanda Freeman. Um, also, you can catch me on uh, Facebook as well as MySpace. And um, if you like to pick up the album you can always check out your local Christian bookstores and check me out check her out <laughs> yeah. you should also be on Let's Talk About It absolutely and, yes and yeah. she'll be shown on MetroCast which is a local community station here in Benson, South Carolina um, Thursdays at 8 o'clock so you can check her out there as well Amen. Okay, so Yolanda, what are some of the other things that you're a part of? Any uh, ministry, other uh, other ministries or outreach programs? Okay, um, also um, you can go to my website, YolandaFreeman.com, and there um, we also within the um, the singing ministry we have a outreach giveaway, which is called I Care Community. Our giveaway and that is designed to be able to help our community by way of free donations and what we do is at um, actually February the 11th we're having our next giveaway um, and it will be at the PD cleaners in Charles, South Carolina and what happens is we set up all kind of appliances shoes purses dresses suits you name it we have everything and the big thing about that is because we want to be a blessing to the community you come you find you bag up anything you want as much as you want and it all is free and that is a part of us being able to give back and be a blessing to our community amen that's amen. awesome yes that's a good yes. thing. Each right. time we have it, we have more than enough stuff. And okay. every time we start, God makes sure we have. I mean, when we talk about opening up the windows right. and pouring out blessings, right. we have so much stuff that right. what we normally do, we'll take it and we'll be a blessing to the Sunshine Shop in Chesterfield or either the okay. um, Chesco. Okay. But every time we get started again, we always have more than enough stuff. So okay. please come out so you right. can be blessed. Check that out, you guys. Yes. And come down and get your free free. Absolutely. Absolutely. Free Absolutely. free. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. Wow. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, um, do you have any other extended hobbies or anything that kinda takes you away from uh singing? Well, but, um I by trade I was a, or am a beautician. Okay. Um but you know, I just closed my salon now in February of last year mm -hmm. to be able to pursue full-time ministry. Thank God for that. Okay. And thank God for my husband because, you know, right. he allowed me to be able to do that. Right. You know, be at that place that God has placed me to. So, right. you know, um, that is my passion. But um, other than that, you know, it's just, you know, basic maybe reading okay. or, you know, relaxation types of things. Okay. Like that. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, support system is really good. Yes, it is. You have a support system. You're yes. blessed. Absolutely. Absolutely. So many things we could be thankful for. Yes. And we're blessed to have. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, sister, I would like to encourage you to keep on striving to be the best you can be and walking in the path that God has for you to walk in and encouraging souls because that's what it's needed. Yes. Especially in this day and age. People need encouragement. They need it yes. like never before. Yes. So yes. Like, a lot of weak minded hearts and minds. Absolutely. And um it's definitely a ministry and song. Absolutely. So thank you. God bless you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I'm welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and you have a good night. Thank good you. night, everybody. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it.